Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Life of Business Analyst. Today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic calculation using the selected value in a slice. So basically you can use this to do a data comparison across the selected dimensions. So I have created a simple data set here. So you can see the name of a company and the product sold, mobile and notebooks and also units sold. So this is a very small set of data so that the beginners uh, can find it easy to copy this to an Excel and uh, try to replicate the example what is presented in the video. So what I have done right now is I have imported the data into this Power BI. So you can see the data, the company and products and units sold. So I, I want to create a calculated measure which dynamically changes based on your slicer selection. So basically I want to have two slicer. So one with the actual company and one is like compared with. So I'm gonna create one dummy table and then import the data. So if I go back to my Excel sheet here, so you, you see I have the following company names. So I, I have selected the unique values and then I have pasted this in a separate sheet and named it as list. If you are doing it in a SQL server, you can have a query to select all the distinct units and create one temporary table or view. And then you can import it or link with the Power BI. So now what I'm gonna do is get the data which I've created, okay. Okay, before that, let me save this file. Okay, so this is the workbook, the company sales. I'm gonna open this. You can see two tables, what is in the Excel. So data I have already imported here. So now I want to import the list of the company, all the names which are in the table. Okay. Edit. Use first row as a header. Okay. Good. Okay. So I have this, let me close this, yes. Now we can see the second table is imported into the Power BI. So now what I'm gonna do is, first let me create a basic pivot here. Metrics. I want to see the product. I want it in the rows. And I want to see the unit sold. Okay, the values. So this is simple. Okay. Now let me create a slicer here. Insert a slicer. I'm not gonna focus more on the cosmetics. It's more of like how to create the measure rather than the cosmetic work. So let me add this field here, drag and drop company, okay. So when I select, you can see automatically the unit sold changes dynamically. So this is simple. Uh, this is nothing to do with uh, the measure, but the next, Parties. So I want to do a comparison with, say example, you have, if I select iPhone, I want to do a comparison iPhone with Samsung or iPhone with Nokia. So what I'm gonna do is create one more slicer. Create one more slicer from the table, the list table. So I already listed all the possible company names. If you are doing in a SQL, probably you can have a query uh, instead of a manually. It's, uh, in Excel, it's a manual effort. But if it's in a 
uh, Power uh, SQL, you can write a query. Uh, even in Excel, you can create a pivot in a different sheet and then list all only the unique values. Whenever you refresh the pivot, you can see the all the possible combination of the car names. So it's, it's doable in Excel as well using the pivot. So in this example, I made it very simpler to understand. So let me drag and drop it here, compare with. Okay, so here you have your company and which is be compared to this one. So let me make some, add some border. Makes my life easy. Border. So now if you see, there is no relationship between these two tables. So if I select iPhone, this doesn't get selected automatically. So there is no relationship between these two. That's the reason I created two separate data sets here. If I create a copy of this example, if I copy this and do a replica of the slicer, there is a, always an interaction which, which will not be any help for us. So now, I want to create compared with, uh, I want to create a new measure. Oops. Okay, new measure. Click on new measure. Let me name it as unit sold by compared company. Okay. Okay. Let me create a variable here. Variable V compared company is equal to selected value. I want to see what is selected in the list. Company with enter return. Calculate. I want to see the units sold. Sum of data units sold. Filter. I want to compare the company. to the variable what is selected here so variable is company let me name it as compared so to understand compared company compared bracket close close enter okay so now let me minimize this and now let me drag and drop here. Okay, let me select something, Nokia. You see, iPhone sales was, the, uh, the total sales was 23,000 units compared with Nokia. So Nokia sold 7,000 units. So you have the option ability to do a row to row comparison here. Okay, sorry, uh, rotor comparison. So if I select Samsung, so you see this Samsung has sold 35,000 units and Nokia has sold 7,000 units. So if you want to find the difference between these two, we can create a new measure now. New measure, difference is equal to Sum of the 
minus So I've created a difference. And then let me add the difference to the pivot here. Okay. This is how you do a comparison based on your slicer selection. So probably, uh, I don't think so it's very complex. Probably you may need to look how the, uh, how the variables are derived. So let me say iPhone. And if I uh, select iPhone, it should be ideally the same. You see 15,000, 15,000, the difference is zero. If I select Nokia here, you see the difference is it's like minus. So Samsung has a highest level of sales. So it's 35,000. And I, if I select here Samsung, it should be zero. The difference is zero. But iPhone, if I select iPhone, you see iPhone has sold 23,000 units and you can see the difference. So this is how you create a dynamic uh, measure using a uh, uh, selection, dynamics selection in a two different slicer. If you have any questions, just drop me a comment. If you like a video, just give me a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.